pharmacological prophylaxis versus pancreatic duct stenting plus pharmacological prophylaxis for prevention of post-ERCP pancreatitis in high-risk patients, a randomized trial. Introduction. Acute pancreatitis is a serious complication of endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, ERCP. Post-ERCP pancreatitis, PEP, occurs in 9% to 42% of patients, depending on risk factors and indications for ERCP. Although most cases of PEP are mild or moderately severe, severe and or necrotizing pancreatitis with substantial morbidity and mortality can occur. Known mechanisms of PEP include impaired drainage of the pancreatic duct caused by edema and or spasm of the sphincter of Adi, activation of phospholipase A2 leading to activation of prostaglandin and prostacyclin cascades, and ischemia of the pancreatic tissue. Many strategies have been suggested for preventing PEP and can be categorized into mechanical, pancreatic duct, PD, stenting, and pharmacological prophylaxis. PD stenting probably maintains pancreatic drainage that may be impaired by papillary edema or spasm of the sphincter of Adi during ERCP. Based on previous studies, the majority of endoscopists insert a fallout stent into the PD in high-risk patients. The effectiveness of rectally administered non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, for the prevention of PEP has also been demonstrated in previous studies. As a result, routine rectal administration of 100 mg of indomethacin during ERCP is recommended for the prevention of PEP in high-risk patients. Nitrates may also have a role in preventing PEP. The efficacy of adequate hydration with lactated ringer solution has also been shown in recent studies to decrease PEP. Most trials that have assessed the effectiveness of PD stenting in patients at high risk of PEP were designed before these pharmacological measures became available. The aim of this study, therefore, was to assess the non-inferiority of PD stenting plus pharmacological prophylaxis versus pharmacological prophylaxis alone in the prevention of PEP among high-risk patients. Background. Acute pancreatitis is a serious complication of endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, ERCP. The aim of this non-inferiority study was to evaluate the effectiveness of pancreatic duct, PD, stenting, plus pharmacological prophylaxis versus pharmacological prophylaxis alone in the prevention of post-ERCP pancreatitis, PEP, in high-risk patients. Methods. In this randomized, controlled, double-blind, non-inferiority trial, patients at high risk of developing PEP were randomly allocated to pharmacological prophylaxis, rectal indomethacin, sublingual isosorbide, dinitrate, and intravenous hydration with ringer's lactate, plus PD stenting, group A, or pharmacological prophylaxis alone, group B. The rate and severity of PEP, serum amylase levels, and length of hospital stay after ERCP were assessed. Results. During 21 months, a total of 414 patients, mean age 55 0.5 plus or minus 17.0 years, 60.2% female, were enrolled, 207 in each group. PEP occurred in 59 patients, 14.3%, 95% confidence interval, CI, 11.1% to 17.9%, 26 patients, 12.6%, 95% CI, 8.6% to 17.6% in group A and 33 15.9%, 95% CI, 11.4% to 21.4% in Group B. There was no significant difference between the two groups in PEP severity, P equals 0.59, amylase levels after 2 hours, P equals 0.31, or 24 hours, P equals 0.08, and length of hospital stay, P equals 0.07. Conclusion the study failed to demonstrate non-inferiority or inferiority of pharmacological prophylaxis alone compared with PD stenting plus pharmacological prophylaxis in the prevention of PEP in high-risk patients.